Uh, hello there, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on where it is you are. I did not expect my dog to look so forlorn when, oh, there we go, there he's, he's, he's heard me uh, when the camera turned on him, but there he is, I'm joined today by my co-host Joker. Uh, I, I saw an alert, but I don't see it. I think I need to refresh my windows. I think my, my, um, stream windows are a little bit frozen. I'm not seeing any chat. Let me refresh real quick. Oh, and I'll tell you what we're up to today. We have a theme, an unintentional theme, but a theme nonetheless. There we go. Yeah, we had Bratamaz with some bits. Thank you very, very much for the 500 bits. Uh, Corgo 100, cheers. Uh, howdy Hazel, how's it going? Evening. Do you have dual PC? No. Um, Sleepy Muffin trying his best to be alert. Yeah, that was the one. <sighs> uh, I think my, my windows were just lagging a little bit. I am going to be coming to get some cats. The theme is cats because a cat pet has been discovered in Shadowlands. I believe it's the last pet that the source was unknown for. It's called Courage, it's a little Larian cub, and it has been found, and it's going to be pretty easy to get. So I wanted to get that first thing in the stream, get that out of the way, and then take Courage with me to Muldraxxus to continue hunting for Lucy with the same grind we were doing yesterday, because I don't have it yet, and today is the last day that that calling is valid, so it must be today. So I'm going to log in and head over to Nemia's Retreat. Come for content, stay for a dog. It's my diabolical plan all along. Can you wish my wife a happy birthday? Happy birthday! That's so exciting. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, Adelazen with a brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Uh, don't have Will of Armornia out. She can and will murder Larian cubs. Oh dear. Oh, it's four months early, but she'll appreciate it anyways. Well, I feel pranked now because I know your wife and I was very excited. And I know that she will have another birthday in four months, but <laughs> you got me. Mm. Okay, I, oh, why am I, oh, okay, yeah, 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 I did, um, despite my strong words against it, I did do another Path of Ascension fight off stream. I did beat that one I was stuck on. And now I believe in order to access more content, I need to upgrade it again, which gives me a really great excuse to procrastinate. <laughs> so uh, no more Path of Ascension until I get 5K anima. That's the that's the plan there. <laughs> what is this problem? Sub Tassie, happy early birthday. Mm. A friend gave me Lucy, explained how rare she is to get. What do you have to do to get her? Love the cat. Uh, not terribly rare, a little bit RNG, which is why I don't have one yet, despite trying yesterday. Essentially, the way this works is there is a calling that needs to be up in order for you to be able to farm for it. So the calling is one of those ones that gives you a follower to train. And it has to be not just any follower, but a specific one for each faction. So I believe Dregs for Venthyr, Drippy for Night Fae, um, or maybe Drippy is, is Necrolord. Uh, yeah, Drippy is Necrolord, Twinkle Bottom is Night Fae, and then uh, Kiri needs Dios. And if you have that follower, you go to the zone where you're supposed to be training them, and every five minutes, the first mob you kill every five minutes will spawn a little pile of rubble for you to loot right underneath them, and that rubble has a chance to contain uh, the dirty glinting object, which is Lucy's collar. You can track that five minute internal cooldown using a weak aura. So effectively, just wait for the right calling, which I have now. Um, don't turn it in until you have your pet. Hang out in the zone, kill something every five minutes, and hope for the best. Well, kill something and then loot the pile every five minutes. But before I get to that, and I will be getting to that, before I get to that, I am going... Well, first of all, oh man, I keep hoping that this world quest is going to be a anima one, because it's like easy anima when it is, but it's not. Nemia's retreat is what, like here-ish? Uh, I had the coordinates pulled up. I had them, I had them here. So we're going to 5739-ish. And the deal with this one, 39, so yeah, right around there. The deal with this one is there are nine Larian cubs in this area. If five of them, any five, doesn't matter which, if any five of them are pet at the same time, Courage will spawn, uh, the pet will spawn, you click on him to loot him, and then you've got him. So basically what we need is we need at least five people, although I think more is fine, and then a raid countdown. Um, and then it stays up for 30 to 45 seconds, people are saying, and it also, um, you don't have to be part of the group in order to loot it. So it seems like I can just kind of head out there and, and feel it out, but we may, I may not even need to coordinate the group. 
We will see. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Shells with a 21 month resub. Thank you very much. Happy Thursday, Hazel. Happy Thursday. 10 second window. There needs to be five with a pet cub buff. 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, all right. So I'm heading there, and the fastest way for me to get there is probably. Uh, I'm gonna jump from Heroes Rest actually. See if I can uh, see if I can levitate travel there. Lizzie with a two month reset. Thank you very very much. Okay, so we're heading north northwest from here. Although, what do you want? You want me to just do some alchemy? Sure, I can do some alchemy real quick. I cannot walk past these world quests without doing them, just because of how easy they are, relative to the rest of my life. You know. Uh, relative to the rest of the world quests that are options, it's, you know, it's only going to give me 10 death blossom and that's not really worth very much, but it's so easy that I can't not. Uh, the chores is also kind of tempting, but no, no. <laughs> One thing, I need to leave myself lots of time to get Lucy because I thought it was going to be easy. I was told it would happen very quickly and then uh, two hours went by and I did not have it yet, so I need to give myself lots of time. Hmm. <sighs> Delightful. Okay. I have been... What was I looking at? I was... I think I was looking through the Path of Ascension stuff again, trying to talk myself into it, and it occurred to me that uh, these are really cool, and those are from Path of Ascension, I believe. At least one of them, if not both of them. The Dark Phalanxes. And that's pretty good. Um, it's just... Uh, it has to be doable. It's just hard. And I'm not in the mood for it, I guess. Kitty Cat, would you like up here? Would you like to be a member of the cat theme stream? She really wanted to be on my lap earlier. She asked from one side and I was busy, so I said no. And then she went to the other side of my chair and she asked again. And then I once again didn't like, because I was scooted all the way under the desk, so she couldn't just jump in my lap. And then she said, well, that's where you're wrong. So she went under the desk and jumped up on my lap to like the, the two inches under my desk and like wormed her way back and then got herself stuck under the arm of my chair. And I'm like, that's not, that's not right. That's not what you do. You have cat beds. You can't be on my lap all the time. Just most of it. But it's a cat themed stream, so I would never say no now. So there are cubs around here. Where exactly does Courage spawn when he does spawn? Right, like right over here-ish, right? So there's a Larian cub. There should be nine of them and we should only need five in order to spawn this thing. So I'm just gonna kind of look for them. There's another one. Three. Let's see, there's one, four. Uh, this step isn't necessary. I'm just looking around, having a little look-see. Uh, Rogue Agent Clark with a two month reset. Thank you very much. Hooray, button pushing day. Uh, next to Nimia, just off to the right when you are facing her. Okay, noted. Okay, so I just need to find one more. Uh, I mean, probably more than that. But, uh, yeah, let's go for circle. And then there's like, there's more over there. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into pre-made custom starter group and we're gonna call this courage spawn, uh, war mode off, a uh, cute pet, come to 57 comma 40 and be ready to pet a cat. Um, we only need five people, but I don't see any reason why we can't just get as many people as want to come. Um, and as long as, as long as at least five of the cats get pet, um, I don't see any reason why more cats could not get pet, and then why people that did not get to pet a cat can't still loot the thing. If it doesn't work, then I've made a mistake and I'm sorry. But I want to try, because it's, you know, <laughs> research. Hi, Hazel. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, Card Wreck with an eight-month reset. Thank you very much. Glad to have had you here. Uh, Bastion, I guess I should clarify. 5740 Bastion. Where did I had one? Uh, oh, there's one too. Oh, Barson's got that one. Oh, yeah, this was mine. All right, I am going to delist this one, but feel free to create your own group if you did not get into this one and you want to participate. Um, no reason why people on different servers cannot do this. I'm going to just give people a minute to get here. Are we all here? Uh, let me go do a ready check. Let's see, let's see who 
things here. I think people are probably still traveling, so I'll give I'll give them a minute. Uh, prepare a map pin that you can link in chat. I mean, we're we're all on the map here. Um, that is a good idea. What are you trying to get? So there's a battle pet. Um, there's a battle pet that we are going to be spawning. <laughs> it's got food and plants. Yeah, it should be should be nice and easy. Oh, my combat log weak aura. Um, not that I need to be combat logging this, but uh, I like how I'm opening the, It's called combat log check. Um, I'm sure I got it from a friend who probably got it off of Wag, Wagio, Wagio. Um, I don't have a link handy. Finally bought the rank 3 garden upgrade. Was sad to find there's nothing really good until the last rank, which will be a while. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. It takes a lot of anima. And, I mean, this is not news to you. But it takes a... I, I agree with the statement that it takes a lot of anima to get that covenant thing. The covenant system leveled all the way up. And it's... I think that... Like, they gave it extra levels, but I don't know that they really gave it enough extra content to justify the five levels of it. It does feel a little stretched out. Uh, info tab usually has the link. Oh! Well, that's information that I could use. Oh. Lit. Um, oh. <laughs> that's not right. I broke, I've, I've ruined everything. <sighs> I've ruined it. I had the link and I lost it. Uh, Whip Lache with a brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. Hazel, how are you like, ho liking Holy? Got Keystone Master yesterday. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Holy's awesome. Um, Holy is my favorite and I will not, I don't, I don't, I can't see myself switching to a different healing spec. Okay. So pretty, pretty, pretty close. We didn't pick up a warlock, but we are. Uh, there's somebody flying over, and then we should be good. Uh, glad I only get the pets that come their way naturally, or ones that are perfect for the alt's vibe. There are way too many. There are a lot of pets. Uh, sometimes, though, beware. Sometimes a collection can start that way, and then it can, um, sometimes collections will start that way. And then once, um, <laughs> once you get, you get, like, a good amount of them, all of a sudden it's like, well, I've come this far, I could get more. Uh, I got on, can't log into WoW. What's going on in stream? Uh, we're trying to get the new, once everybody gets here, we're going to be petting some cats to try to spawn. I just want to make sure that it doesn't despawn before people get here. Uh, even if we have enough to pet the cats, to spawn a, a battle pet. Uh, it's gonna, it's called Courage. It's one of the Larian cubs, looks like that. Uh, super, super cute. This should be pretty easy too. Okay. Um, once everyone is here. I'll do a ready check, then a countdown. Almost. I wish there was a way to trade grateful offerings for anima. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah, the pet matches, um, you're absolutely right. The pet matches the Gilded Prowler that you get exalted with Bastion. I like that there are some I like that there are some pets, or pets and mounting and cosmetics that are associated with different covenants that are not necessarily um, locked to those covenants. Like, obviously a lot of the stuff is locked, but not all of it, you know? Got the mount off of Famu today. I actually don't know what that means. Um, I wonder if I can find out. If I just type in Endmire Flyer. Oh, neat. Yeah, I'd never seen that. I haven't seen that. I've, um, I'm very much out of touch these days about how to get all the various mounts and stuff in Shadowlands. I don't know if I'm ever going to catch up. Okay, all right. Uh, it looks like we're here, so one more ready check. It's flast and food. I still have my Vantas run up. Okay, everyone's ready. So, on five pet cat. Slash count, slash DBM count five, question mark? Will that work? Nope, slash dbm countdown five. Slash countdown five. There we go, that works. Oh, that's somebody else's courage. I lost my cat, but hopefully there's enough of them. Oh, there's, nope, that's somebody else's courage. Ah, uh, but here it is. Okay, so you see it, you click it, you pet courage. And then it's added directly to your pet journal. That's super cool. 
cats. Everybody get it? Anybody need a life group? <laughs> wow, that is the most loved cat. Alright. That is very doable for anybody that can scrape together four friends or just put them together in the group finder. There's lots of cats around, so you don't have to get them. I guess you only can pet them once. Yeah, so the pet is... it is cageable. Um, but I wonder... yeah, someone's already put them up on the auction house. The pet is cageable, which means it's sellable. I would not buy it on the auction house. Um, it's possible that you might be able to loot it again on an alt to sell it. Um, I don't... I can't verify that, but... <laughs> I love Muckworth Muddington the third. Alright. Thanks, guys. Once per character looting, okay. Cheers. All right, I am off to Muldraxxus then. To I'm taking my courage. I'm going to Muldraxxus, and I'm gonna try to get this Lucy cat. <laughs> Got another alt for a friend. Thanks. I would uh, caution people against buying them if they're like a hundred k. Given how easy that was to get, I would I would keep your gold if you're. I mean, if you've seen this, you're probably not thinking about it. I'm probably preaching to the wrong crowd here, but. Um, <sighs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Okay, I was heading off. I sold. I got a single potion of spectral intellect from farming for Lucy, and I just sold it for like almost 500 gold because alchemy is weird. <laughs> okay, I can probably slice up that into a highlight at some point. Hey, Lorana, thanks for the 20 month reset. If you cage them when you reach the limit, then you can get as many as alts you have. Okay. Now I'm wondering if I should be if I should do the <laughs> the evil thing and sell them. I mean, I guess you could do. Um, well, I know I'm not doing anything because um, I am supremely lazy and I have mine, and that sounds right about the time when I stop doing things. So I'm not getting any more of them. But um, if somebody did want to farm extras to sell, but didn't want to sell them for like 100k, you could undercut the people that are selling them for 100k by putting them up for like 10k or 5k. And then that would A, bring the price down to a more humane level, and B, the people that you're undercutting might buy them out trying to reset the price. And that may work in your favor. I was going here. That's right. Hazel, why aren't you using any bag add-ons? Because I don't need them. Um, I think that not using add-ons for most things is the default, and then choosing to use them is the choice that needs justification. Uh, I got rank 3, transport network today, it's so nice, 10k anima well spent, oh yeah, oh yeah. The rank 3 and the anima, the transport network is by far the best covenant building, and still the one I will continue to put um, anima into first on any character. Followed probably by the Anima Conductor because some of those dailies have um, pets and mounts and stuff and they're not too hard to do. And then some of them, the Anima Conductor can also give you Anima back because you get a little bit of Anima for doing the activities. So I, that's probably my second favorite. And then I suppose the, the Covenant specific activity would be after that, even though it's like really expensive to get fully upgraded and kind of a lot of work. And then the Mission Table upgrades are just dead last. <laughs> Regret putting one in each to start with. I think one in each isn't too bad because the first unlock is pretty cheap, but um, I, I kind of wish I could take back my rank three anima conductor because it didn't unlock anything I'm actually going to use. Lucy Pet, strangely enough, learned at green quality. Keys today? No, probably not. I'm probably done with keys for a while, like probably until next season. I'm going to, well, I'm going to continue doing one or two a week as, as available, I suppose. Um, should I kill a corpse pincher? One or two a week. Yeah, there we go. That will work. And... Nope. Uh, next one, another five minutes. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i gonna keep doing it for like the cash. I guess I could do them on stream, but I'm probably just gonna do them in the evenings. And if I skip a couple of weeks, then that's fine. I've, I've accepted that I am very much done my PvE goals for this patch. Um, and while there are still some upgrades that it could be made to my gear, they're not really for anything because there isn't any harder content that I want to do that I haven't already done. I'm not trying to Mythic Raid, I'm not trying to push keys any higher. So while I probably will do a little more Torghast to get my to get my Flash Concentration Legendary leveled the rest of the way up just because, um, it's not strictly necessary for this patch for me. I'm probably going to redirect a lot of my WoW time to... <sighs> No, right now I'm just kind of cleaning up bits and pieces, stuff like the Lucy, the Lucy pet, um, 
looking at Path of Ascension and then stopping every time it makes me feel bad, uh, I may look at some PvP. I did get Courage, yeah. Courage right, right here. Uh, it was, no, mine was Learn to Blue. Mine was Learn to Blue. You said Courage was Learn to Green? Was it Learn to Green? Mine looks blue to me. Rare, yeah, mine was Learned at Rare. Are they not all Learned at Rare? Um, to get Courage, you need five people to simultaneously pet Larian cubs over at uh, Nemia's Retreat here in Bastion. Once they've all pet them at once, um, Courage will spawn by Nemia and everybody can pet her to get the pet. <laughs> How many times can you use the word pet in a sentence and still have it be correct? Uh, just discovered, yeah. Oh, Lucy was learned at green. Oh, I misunderstood. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh, well. Um, Lucy is undead. Do I have an undead stone on me? No, I have... I mean, <laughs> at this rate, maybe I will get an undead upgrade stone before I get Lucy so that it's just ready to go. <sighs> Five people need four friends. You could... I would list in the group finder. That's what I did. Um, I... It may not be quite as fast to fill if you're not streaming, but I imagine, especially today... I would do it sooner rather than later because this thing was just discovered and that means that a lot of people that want to get it are going to go get it today. So you're going to have an easier time if you go like now um, out there and then list a group for it. Um, just make sure you specify whether or not you're in war mode. Uh, throw the coordinates in there. You're looking for <sighs> around, uh, you're, it's around the 57 comma 39 area in Bastion and you just need, you just need five people to pet various different larian cubs at the same time insane candor thank you for the brand new stuff welcome to the squirrel squad you keep ds until you turn the calling in until it expires until either you turn it in or until it expires you are safe to do the last quest to finish the calling but as, as long as you don't turn it in um this calling has 15 hours left today is the final day for this one so i need to not Put this off any longer. I need to get this. You are you. No, I'm not. North America. Uh, you do not need to be partied up. No. Um, five nearby people could could pet at once. Somebody in chat, Lux, was saying that there's like 10 seconds of leeway time. Um, doesn't have to be identical on the on the time mark, but pretty close. Got Lucy over 30 minutes ago. Didn't take a long to get. It seems very much random because I've already put two hours into it and I haven't gotten it yet. But that's because it's RNG. Um, lots of people are going to get lucky. I don't think the drop rate is too bad, but it's bad enough that there is the possibility for some outliers having it take a little longer. Um, are you posting a video tutorial or is it public knowledge at this point? I'm going to post, um, a video for both Lucy and Courage, or at least I'm going to slice up the stream VOD in, in a way that, um, demonstrates the concept. Is the plan. Are these secret pets you're getting? Depends on your definition of secret. I think that when it comes to making YouTube titles, I may designate them as secrets because that's just a more clickable word. Um, but yeah, Wowhead has write-ups for both of them. It's not exactly like a nobody knows thing. Um, until today, the, the Courage one was a nobody knows thing. That wasn't figured out until very recently. Five minute wait timer is the real dragon farming Lucy. Yeah, at least it's only five minutes. You know, it could be a lot worse. And I'm glad that it spawns on any kill so I can just kind of hang out in a fairly safe area and just take down a take down a, a, a nearby worm every now and then that's nice <sighs> um i just i just got to get a little lucky and that's it. it 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 does make for a pretty good stream activity because i you know i just have to all i have to do is is kill a mob every once every five minutes and i can spend the rest of my time um i spend the rest of my time chatting and that's about the pace of the stream that's about what we're looking for so okay yeah dirty glinting object is the thing that he drops the collar is what you want to get from there i'm look at all these portals though i have pocket portals for revendreth for oribos to bastion i'm probably going to keep the weak aura even after i'm done the lucy grind so that next time i happen to have this calling up and i'm out here working on it i at least notice the dirty glinting objects up so i can loot them because those portals are probably kind of nice to have you know uh, can't stop staring at the point of light. Yeah, there's a, it's very sunny and I've got some blackout curtains, but there is a, uh, to be honest, actually, that is really small, isn't it? Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, <laughs> there's, um, 
<laughs> There's uh, pinholes in my curtain because I don't care for the health and safety of my curtains. I care for my own health and safety, but the well-being of the curtains is beyond me. So in the past, um, the curtains were quite long. Why did I need to shorten them? I needed to shorten them for some reason. I think it had to do with the pet bed or with a plant or something. There was some reason why I needed the curtains to be shorter, but not permanently shorter, and I didn't want to hem them. Oh, it was for the air conditioner, that's right. Um, when the air conditioner is in that window, I need the curtain to be above the AC unit, but um, still closed over the rest of the window to block light from coming in while I'm streaming. So what I do is half of the year is I pin that curtain and I fold it halfway up and I secure it with safety pins so that it can still block most of the window but not the bottom of it. But I don't want to permanently hem it because the rest of the year when I take the AC unit out, then there's a big gap of window there that once again needs to be blocked. So I do that. I could, if I was, if I didn't like my solution, I could just keep an extra curtain panel, hem that one, like keep one shorter curtain panel, install that half the year. But like that sounds like um, I'd be trying too hard and this is working fine for me. Um, I'm good. <laughs> it's fine. Look at my dog. Do that for my living room window as well. Yeah, if it was a permanent thing, like if this was my house and I was going to live here for a long time and that was the plan for like forever, then I would probably just suck it up and go buy one more curtain panel of the of the shorter length or hem it and then have like the nice solution. But this works out. Uh, I like bread. Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, this thing with the curtain and the AC is the most relatable thing I've heard on any stream ever. I mean, is it? <laughs> what do other streamers talk about? I genuinely don't know. I don't watch streams. My spouse watches streams. I'll hear about them from him. Mm. Um, is there a guide for mini bosses? Mini bosses? What do you mean by mini bosses? Um, yeah, I'm trying to get Lucy. I'm not using war mode because I'm not here to PvP. <laughs> Such a human problem. Oh, man. Um, I have a tragedy to report in other news near my windows. Um, I'm down to one lemon tree. They were both doing kind of sort of okay, but one of them looked a lot better than the other one. And then the one that was doing poorly kept falling ill to up to things like it had, it was dropping its leaves and then it kind of recovered and then got spider mites and I treated it and then it kind of recovered. And then it got ants and I'm like, I'm just done with you. You are, you are genetically weak. <laughs> this lemon, this particular lemon tree is just not happening and it is now drawing ants into my office and I'm just over it. I have another one and also nothing is forever. I am Thanosing this thing. Uh, so I still have one of them because I think that people will be upset with me if I get rid of both of them, at least before I move. But um, I've, <laughs> I, I do not have two of them. Poor lemon tree bloodline. Uh-huh. Oh man. Switch to Night Fae for my Holy Priest. Really love the ability. It's so much better than Kyrian. Yeah, I bet you're not- I'm, you're not wrong. The Night Fae one felt kind of wordy, and I know that that's rich coming from somebody using Boon of the Ascended, which is like a novel that you can only read two pages of during 30 seconds at a time while the cooldown's actively active, but the Night Fae Guardian- the Fae Guardians, right? Like the fairies? I- it seemed like a lot. I didn't know you were in favor of lemon eugenics. <laughs> Listen, if it's not- if it's not people, it's- it's- I'm- I'm good. Mm. Uh, what add are you using to see the timers? I have a weak aura. I do not live in Washington. I've never lived in Washington. Um, we considered it for a while. I live in Oregon right now. I'm from Victoria and we are planning a move back to Victoria. I am excited. Yeah. I've been going through a lot of logistics over the last couple of days because I think that's my coping method. I think that when I get very, very, very impatient and stressed and like all hollow and shaky inside because I'm just very homesick, um, I go through moving logistics to try to like remind myself that there is a real plan <sighs> and I figured out that it's gonna be really annoying to take the car back like it's doable but you don't just drive it over the border you don't even just get it valued and drive it over the border you gotta get uh you gotta get a vehicle importer to issue you a special number and you have to submit a bunch of stuff to the border at least 72 hours before you go and it's 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 annoying but what do you do <sighs> Uh, how you like Oregon? It's good. Um, I, I've always liked the Pacific Northwest climate and I don't, I haven't lived a whole lot of places though. I don't have a lot of frames of reference and different people like different places for different reasons. I think I lost my, my timer. Um, so I like it, but I am convinced that I would be happy anywhere in the Pacific Northwest that has good internet. 
um, you know, now I am adding on to that, that I would like to be close to my family, which is why I want to move home. But um, I, I don't, I'm not somebody that would be really disappointing if there wasn't a sparkling nightlife. I couldn't tell you what the knife life is like. I've never been. Um, I'm somebody that stays inside and plays WoW and gets my groceries delivered. So it's not like I'm really taking advantage of the, of the city. Aranita with a two month reset. Thank you. I uh, heard many different things about Northern West Coast. You're a snowy and I dislike snowy. For snow, you need mountains. Like most of the Pacific Northwest is only going to be snowy for like a couple of days in the winter, unless you're in like a mountain range or like your, your higher elevations, they're going to get more snow. Or if you go like North, North, like Northern BC, you're going to get more snow. But um, I lived in Vancouver Island for a long time and I lived in different places um, Northern Island, Mid Island, and South Island, and you would only get snow for like a week or two in the winter, really. <sighs> and in Victoria, barely at all because it's so coastal. I uh, just got courage and a rate of 23. There you go. Victoria is my hometown. Grew up in Gordon Head. Portland, we had like two days of ice. Yeah, but that's that's just the future, though, right? Like, <laughs> that's, um, we had a gnarly ice storm a couple weeks ago. You're not wrong. I took some wild photos just to remind myself of when that happened. But I have a feeling that nowhere on the planet is going to be safe from extreme weather events. It's just a matter of picking your poison. You into hurricanes, you into wildfires, you think in floods, pick one or two, depending on where you're going, but be being aware of the risk because you're going to find very few places that are going to be free of risk of, you know, hurricanes, wildfires, flooding, avalanches, earthquakes, volcanoes. Um, and I feel like we're going to see more rather than less. <laughs> mm. Team blizzards. Oh, true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Courage was always in Shadowlands. Yeah. Or at least we're assuming so. It's possible that it was just broken until 905 because the acquisition method is pretty straightforward. So I'm surprised that it hadn't come to light yet. So, but, um, but in theory, it's been in the game the whole time. You've never raided until you've raided with tornado sirens going off. <sighs> I live in the Canadian East Coast. We get teasing from BC every year when they have cherry blossoms. We have snow. Yeah, I, I would not, I would not, uh... I mean, I'm sure I could learn to love the East Coast as well. It's just that I, 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 I like the island. Uh, YouTuber is going to get better internet. She has bad internet right now. Live in the mountains of Colorado. I moved from northern New York by the Canadian border in the Great Lakes. All I've known is snow. I'm over it. Yeah, I don't mind snow if it... The problem with snow is when it decimates power. Snow combined with power outages can get kind of ugly, as Texas has found out recently. Um, because I don't need to, to go places. If you have a commute, then it makes your life hell, I'm sure. But I am so privileged that I can just keep a bunch of groceries and like stockpile my house up a little bit. And then anytime I need to, as long as I keep internet and as long as I keep power, which are not guaranteed, but if I can keep internet and power, I can just hole up inside and chill until it melts, basically. Um, I don't need to go outside for a whole lot. Um, besides exercising my dog, that's pretty much it. But I know that people with commutes don't get that luxury. Uh, what are you farming? I'm trying to get the Lucy Ghost Cat Battle Pet. Uh, hey, Mrs. Strumer. Hello. Michigan, we have a system. Power doesn't go out as much. When I was growing up, we used to get blackouts a couple times a year. Once or twice a year, maybe. Um, but it was a little more rural. Like, we weren't, like, in town. Um, a lot of more modern areas are going to have buried power lines. And those I've found to be a lot more stable, I think. They don't they don't go out as much. <sighs> Someone from Florida, I'm firmly anti-snow. Snow is pretty. It's just uh, dangerous to travel in is the trouble. All right, 37 more seconds, and then maybe it'll be Lucy time. I don't, I couldn't tell you that I'm in a big rush because I don't exactly have a firm backup plan for what I'm going to do after I get this pet. I guess I was going to maybe do Torghast. Um, if I have at least a half an hour left, then I can do some Torghast and mess around with that new, the darkness thing. Uh, Super Med, thanks for the bits. Uh, cheers. <laughs> I can't believe I've never made that fun before. Snipe fig good for Holy Priest? I've heard so. I don't think the Covenant is that vital. Um, the recommended Covenant is Necrolord. 
I am a Kyrian. I hear people liking Night Fae. I hear people messing with Venthyr. I think that for Holy Priest, you're not gonna... It's not life and death to pick the wrong covenant the same way it is with some... With some, uh, DPS specs. Your shirt reminds me of the Megadeth logo. I'm sh I'm certain that's what inspired them. This was BlizzCon leak from a year ago. Or two years ago now, I suppose. Uh, my power company states that burying the lines is too costly. They won't do it. Darkness is OP from what I've seen. Uh... Adventure Queer with some bits. Thank you very much. Sending love for being an absolutely lovely and inclusive WoW streamer. Watching your VODs while leveling all this making the experience fantastic. Hashtag Holy Priest Maids. The, uh, that's what we love to hear. Thank you very, very much for the support. We're up to 905, so it's a lot better. Oh, Night Fae. Interesting. What would it take for me to switch from Kyrian? I say, as I wear my full Kyrian Mog on my Kyrian, well, actually this isn't my Kyrian mount. My Kyrian mount is, I wonder if I got like the rest of the phalanxes. That's pet we journal, that's the wrong journal. I wonder if together. I got the rest of the phalanxes. I have the two for, I have three actually, cause they just got us this one. This one came from the very end of the campaign and it was just free. So this one's new. Um, but I wonder if once I get the rest of those, if I'll be able to justify switching covenant so I can start collecting the other mounts on my main. Cause right, no, because I like living in Elysian Hold. I like the Covenant Hall. It's the best one and I don't want to move. <laughs> Mark a lot of things for the six month resub. If one of the other Covenants had blood mages. Uh, it's so holy. And then I do really like the File of Serenity. I was underwhelmed by it at first. Also Minta, how could I leave Minta? Um, Back to but yeah, the File of Serenity saves my life. Um, specifically, I should use it more for curses. I The, the places I use File of Serenity are Ventinax to remove the bleed if I get the dash bleed. Um, I use it to get out of a infectious rain in Plaguefall on the last boss. Just one, but it helps out with one of them by clearing the dot off me. But it also does poisons and curses. What curse would I get rid of? Maybe if there was no, um, maybe if there was no decursor in Theater of Pain for that trash platform that has the curse that puts the little pools underneath you. Maybe I would use it for that. I should remember that. I, I usually bring a druid with me. <sighs> Mounts unusable in other covenants. Yeah. Um, any mount that is specifically connected to a covenant should in theory be locked to that one. So if I switch covenants, I would still have the mounts, but I wouldn't be able to ride them on non Kyrian characters. Yeah, I would say Holy is easier to understand to get started with in Discipline. For a newbie. Uh, did you ever play Final Fantasy XIV? For a little bit. I played it for a day or two. Um, years ago when it was new. <sighs> uh, not for very long, though. Uh, Adventure Queer also with a three-month reset. Thank you. Grateful that I'm a shaman. I can cleanse the curse from platforms. It's awful without it. Mm-hmm. Um, that, with the platform with the two big lich liches that do the death winds with like that's just absolute hell without a decurse because you're there's like there's you imagine there's got like three people in range there's puddles being dropped underneath you you're trying to sidestep to dodge the death winds and and you you don't want to sidestep too far to the sides you can't even use that much room because there's packs on either side that you haven't pulled it's the worst thing ever um it's really rough Started Final Fantasy XIV last night. Great fun. I've heard good things about it. I'm sure that it's a, a very good MMO. I'm just um, not in the market for one, I think. Impossible to play Final Fantasy and WoW at the same time. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of people multitask a lot of MMOs. Um, Mr. Nutty plays BDO and he also plays WoW, but he kind of goes through phases of favoring one over the other, I think. I uh, ran my first dungeon as a Holy Priest healer. Normally I'm a tank and no one died. There you go. That is the that is the ultimate goal. You did it. That's as good as it gets. Thanks for the macros video. I'm so helpful. I miss my steward. Venthyr life has its perks, but this Vulcan was something else. <laughs> she's just she's just so helpful and she never complains. And she's just, you know, yeah. she can tell my friends that they're great and she can port me back. I mean not right here, but she can she can get my mail if my Katie's busy. A she's just, she's never just so good. Uh, see you later. I like to dismiss her rather than just letting her follow me around forever, because I figure she probably has stuff to do. Morzov with a three month reset. Thank you. <laughs> Such a can do attitude. I can't multitask MMOs. I get my keys confused when I try. I feel that, especially if I've, even without it being an MMO, if I've just been spending a lot of time playing another game, 
And lately, if I've I if I've been playing a lot of Valheim and I log back into WoW, I try using Valheim controls for the first like five ten minutes. Uh, what tank do you prefer to heal? I mean, I can heal any of them. I don't think there's any tank that's like a deal breaker. Demon hunters are great because of how much damage they do. Um, they're as easy to heal as anything else, but they also bring so much damage that the fights are over faster, which makes the healing easier. Um, Guardian Druids are delightful because they're just big squishy teddy bears filled with health, so it feels like there's always lots of room for my healing to work well on them. Uh, Brewmasters are nice because it's more predictable when the damage is coming. Blood Decays are kind of stressful because of their- Blood Decays are kind of stressful because of how spiky they are and how they're fine and then they're dead and then they're fine and then they're dead. And that's difficult as a Holy Priest when you're spamming regular full heal cast, but um, if you track their runic power bar and you just view their runic power bar as an extra health bar, that helps smooth that out and I don't really mind healing Blood Decays. Prot Warriors are a myth and I've never seen one, so I couldn't tell you, never heard of one. I think they're- I think they're a rumor, I don't think they're real. <laughs> Uh, favorite tank to heal is Frost Mages. Healing Druids or Demon Hunters? Yeah. I'm trying to think if I've missed anybody. Paladins? Yeah, I've never heard you kill a prop pal either. At least not in recent memory. I think just because my guild- my guild has Blood DKs and a Brewmaster Monk and that's kind of the thing. How did I know they would re release BC Classic testing right after 905 before 9-1? Where's my kitty cat? Everyone's like, this is so easy. It drops for me so early. <laughs> I think the people that had it drop for them very quickly. It's like the Yelp effect. If, if you had it, if it dropped for you real fast, you might be more likely to say that it dropped for you. Well, no, actually the Yelp effect is the opposite. The Yelp effect is when you are more likely to write about bad experiences. Uh, there's no need for Pally. <laughs> Best friend is a prop warrior. Oh man. Uh, one thing I can't get about switching from a DPS class to a non-healing one. Oh, do healers tanks always use their healing tanks back or do they switch for world quest solo stuff? Ah, uh, depends. You do not have to switch. Um, you are able to do world quest and solo content in healing and tank specs. They have like tanks just kind of do their normal thing because tanks do some damage anyways. Healer, every healer spec is going to have damage buttons. So as a holy priest, I have smite, I have holy fire, I have chastise. And if I was committed to, I could do all of my world quests in holy spec by using, um, by using my holy damage spells. However, specifically for healers, and not all of them, but for a lot of healers, your damage is going to be much worse in your healing spec than it would be just switching to a DPS spec. So I do switch. I haven't done it right now because I'm not really killing a lot of mobs, but I do switch to shadow if I'm just going to go do world questing. I stay holy for Torghast. I think Torghast is easier often. Torghast is often easier as a solo healer spec because of the way the scaling works, but for world questing, I do go shadow. <sighs> uh, how do you feel about alts in Shadowlands? I feel like it's alt unfriendly. Gearing past 197 seems like such a chore. Mm, but it's pretty quick to get to 197, which I like. I think that it depends on what your expectations are for your alts. And I think that it shouldn't be, if it was really easy to get everybody to 220, which is kind of like where I'm at, where I'm done, that would, I think, invalidate the endgame. Like, if I'm leveling an alt, I want to get it into endgame content pretty quickly, but I don't want it to be done with it immediately. And I think they've hit a reasonable balance on that. However, um, there are some things that are not as alt-friendly. Let us skip the maw intro is probably one of them. Um, I think leveling could stand to be faster. I would like to see a little faster experience through Threads of Fate. More experience from Threads of Fate activities would be nice. And um, more anima. Anima catch-up. I know that anima is not connected to player power, but it kind of is if you're using it to upgrade condu or Covenant gear. Dentalian with a five-month reset. Thank you very, very much. Mythic Castle Nathra. No, I don't plan to. I'm not a Mythic Raider. Uh, Shadowlands fun, debating diving back in. Depends on what you like about WoW. If you are into collecting, if you want to do... I mean, it depends on when you left also, what you have left to do. I had a lot of fun recently um, doing Keystone Master. I had a lot of fun working on getting Mythic plus 15s of every key done for the achievement for the mount. 
And because I have that done now, it'll be a little easier for me to set up alts next patch. Or this patch, I suppose, actually. It'll be easier for me to catch up alts if I do have them, because my Valor, I'll be able to Valor upgrade their gear to 220. If I get enough Valor, anyways. Um, so that was a lot of fun. The raid was pretty good. I think that Castle Nathra was good fun. A lot of people are done with it now. It's quite late in its tier, so most people don't need it anymore. Um, if you're debating coming back and you're into collecting, I would do it now. If you're more about doing like the current PvE or PvP, I would maybe consider chilling until 9.1 when there's a new raid coming out. Uh, do you do PvP? Uh, sometimes, not all that often. It is kind of my plan for what's what my next grind is, but we'll see we'll see how it goes. I need this cat to drop for me first. I have to I have to keep doing this today because I have only 15 hours left until what is my boy here won't help me anymore and I need him to help me get this cat pet. Uh, I do not know the ancient mount deadline. Um, I'm assuming that eventually it will be the case that you'll make a new character and you won't get the wandering ancient kind of like how People that played during the Azeroth Choppers event got the Horde motorcycle, but if you make a new account now, I don't believe that you do get the Horde motorcycle. I think that that one is exclusive to people that played back then, but I don't know how long it was before they cut that off, um, so I couldn't guess. I would assume you have some time. Um, that was not Lucy. That was a potion of empowered exorcisms. Uh, do I have rival PvP transmog? I don't think so. I don't think I did 1800 yet. On my druid. <sighs> I was having some real problems. I was having a difficult time, which I think is why I didn't get more into it more quickly. I got very frustrated um, when I started PvPing again because I kind of expected to catch up pretty quickly to where I used to be in BFA and in Legion and in Warlords, and I instead found myself really having a difficult time, even at very low rating because of the speed of the meta trying to heal games. Um, I'll be chock-a-block with pocket portals from Twinkle Wings by the end of the day. There's a, there's a tongue twister for you. <sighs> um, I did 100 matches yesterday, still can't get to 1400. That's 100 matches! That is a big day. That is a big day. I'm jealous of your commitment. I'm jealous of your drive. I would rather be you having done the 100 matches and be below 1400 than be me and be too scared to try. You're, you're ahead of me at least in that respect. What else has been going on that I can share with you guys? I haven't really been up to anything super exciting. I've been just mostly trying to keep it together. I have been playing a little bit of Valheim. Um, I didn't do a ton last night, but I did a little bit. I'm out of swamp. <laughs> I'm at a point in my Valheim progression where I need a little more iron to finish getting my iron armor. And I have fully excavated the two sunken crypts that were in the swamp that I found. And now I'm sailing around looking for another swamp that has more crypts and I can't find one. Uh, I, I keep finding a lot of planes. And it would also be nice if I found my trader because I can't carry very much stuff and my iron armor is very heavy and it would be nice to have the extra equip weight. But um, I got kind of bored of running through the forest because I wasn't finding anything. I did just find my third bee though. <laughs> That's something. Poking PvP isn't terribly easy. I'll just have to start their own groups. Yeah. And part of the trouble with PvP as well is that you... Actually, this is true for keys also, is that it can be very difficult to play and accomplish things in a even a low rated group or a low key with a completely random group of people you've never played with before. Um, and when you, you know, you get into a pug and it's like a 1400 or a 1200 chill games pug and you lose games there, it really does a number on your self-esteem. Or like if you pugged a plus four key when you're used to running tens and twelves, but you pugged a four key just because, and all of a sudden it, you're, you know, people are dying and you're wiping and you're like, why can't I carry this? And the power of an individual player to carry is not necessarily what it has been. Um, you can certainly help quite a bit, but you can't fix everything and it can lead to you feeling like you don't deserve to be where you normally are just because you can't, you know, float the boat even when you're down in the shallows. 
Uh, I watched the OTK Valheim tournament. I did not see it, no. I'm sure it was cool, though. The bees are happy. I got some happy bees. I have no interest in doing RPGs. Not, not even a little bit. People die in a plus four, it's most likely not the healer's fault. Absolutely true, but it's hard not to blame yourself when you are healing. There's only so much you can do, though. Maybe this next one will be the one. Uh, what is the location where you're looking for the pet? It's going to be, it's going to depend on what, which calling you have. You need to have a trainee with you. And depending on the calling, it might send you to a different zone. So right now I have the Maldraxxus trainee calling. And I have the correct what trainee, so I'm, do I'm, I'm doing this Maldraxxus. But it's possible for you to get this calling, I believe, with this follower in a different zone. And if that was the case, I would go to a different zone. <laughs> I find it extremely easy not to blame myself in that situation. Maybe even a little too easy. <sighs> she go vent there. Oddly enough, I do not PvP on this priest. Um, I have a separate priest who is Venthyr, and also I, I my PvP main is Druid. I play Ardruid. Not well, but I do play Ardruid, and she's a Necrolord. Uh, too much anxiety about personal performance for anything above a plus four. It's scary. It's scary, but it's not always like a, if you can <laughs> magic your way, and I know it's easier said than done, but if you can magic your way into a group that is um, if you can magic your way into a group that's knows a little bit about what what the dangers are kind of because the thing that separates a good group from a mess in a key aside from the obvious like you know running the wrong way and pulling trash that you don't mean to the route is important but mob priority is very important knowing which enemies do the dangerous things which cast do you need to kick which mobs do you need to stun and when and that's not knowledge anybody is born knowing. Um, you can read up on guides. There are trash guides for every dungeon of Wowhead that will talk about the different dangerous enemies. But also, as people die to everything, you kind of learn them over time. Like, you might learn that on Plaguefall, there are slimes and there are those big stompy abomination boys. They do the bone spikes. And there are also plague binders that will cast Gripping Infection. And that there is a poll that you can do that people do that has a plague binder casting Gripping Infection and a big dude doing bone spikes. And that... If you do not stop or dispel the gripping infection, one or the other, preferably stop it, people can get rooted in that spike and die. And, you, you know, if, if nobody knows that, then somebody's just going to be like, oh, well, that's bad luck. And it is bad luck, but it is preventable. Um, so if you the difference between playing a group that knows, you know, stop the loyal beast cast on the on the Houndmaster trash in Atonement and the group that just kind of like doesn't even look and they're kind of watching Netflix and just doing their damage rotation, even if they're doing good damage, it's going to be night and day different in difficulty. And I've found that seven, eight, nine, even six keys can be vastly harder than 12s to 15s if people don't stop those things because of how much damage they do or if people just stand in thrusts and stuff. Yeah, I absolutely agree with what Zombie's saying where 10s are harder than 15s because of the player pool. <sighs> Uh, I like playing with Ardruids. All the CC helped me. Is there a healing spell that you use never? Healing spell that you use like never Mythic Plus. I, so for, he, for Holy Priest, the Mythic Plus spec that I settled on used the Flash Concentration Legendary. And a lot of the healing involved in it comes from building up these stacks that you see here on my weak aura for so you get five stacks and then you get a heal that is the same cast time as your flash heal but it heals you for a lot and it's very cheap so a lot of your healing and a lot of your group healing starts to come from that instead of prayer of healing i will basically never cast prayer of healing or renew actually i don't really cast prayer of healing and i will almost never cast renew because um, I, I want to be just going through my party, topping them off with whack-a-mole heals and keeping those stacks up. And that's going to be much higher HPS for my global and also for my mana. Um, I will mana. use the occasional circle of healing and renew are nice because they're instant. So if I have to move for a global, um, for example, during a pride floor, just during a boss, that's when I might weave in a a circle of healing or renew but really only if palm is off cooldown because that's higher priority that's better and then if you're using the benediction talent which i do use in mythic plus your palm is going to leave behind renews anyway so you don't have to set them out yourself 
We were doing 19s and 20s with a good organized group of friends. I was pretty confident farming my plaguefall trinket and 15 pugs today, but yeah, geez, the pug life is hard. It's just so hit and miss. You Occasionally there are wonderful groups and awesome people, and occasionally there are groups that are not on the same page and it's tough. Um, Want to know how do you move your spells to different places? So I use a bar add-on called Bartender, and that lets me change my bars, resize them, turn them into blocks instead of bars, and then drag them around to wherever I want. And it also makes it a little easier to keybind. So that add-on is called Bartender 4. Uh, you have a good point, actually. Yeah, I should go hang out by the pools just in case Violet Mistake pops up. I love the dog cam. That's how I describe raid healing, just playing super stressful whack-a-mole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had our last raid last night. I am done raiding until the next, until raid testing starts. I am, I am on a big, long raiding break, which is fine. I felt, I felt about done with it. I think I had done too much Mythic Plus healing and it has been so different. It was so drastically different than raid healing that I think that too, healing all that Mythic Plus kind of made me a slightly worse raid healer. I may have had better awareness, but um, I, I was, I had lost my, my mojo for, um, for getting those big numbers on like hard fights like Sludge Fist. Uh, Sup, Hazel? You know, with the Wandering Ancient Mount having unique animation break and model, I'm really frustrated. Face it, we all assume we reuse this for the vote mount. Model animation's unique. How are the Rubians have looked? I don't know. Uh, oh, I ran into Plaguefall, didn't I? <laughs> Oops. Uh, wonder what happened to the last three bartenders. <laughs> I do believe they did. Um, nope, no, nope, I'm leaving. I'm out. Um, I do believe they. Uh, I don't think it was always a bartender four. I think there were earlier ones. Yeah, key and raid healing, very different. Both fun, but very different and differently paced. Um, I think that raid healing is a little slower paced. It's a little more relaxed in that you seem to ha you got more time between fights. You know, there's like explanations. You you have some dinner. <laughs> um, there's you know you 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 try hard for five or six minutes at a time, and then you've got like the run back and then the discussion. Whereas in a mythic plus key, you are on for 45 minutes or however long the key is going to take you and you do not get a breath. Like I often will bring snacks to my desk or like food or something. Maybe I'll sit down with dinner and I'll be like, oh, I can do a key while I eat. Now you can't. You're going to do the key and you're going to finish the key and you're going to look at your desk and be like, oh, my food's cold. <laughs> of course it is. What did I think would happen? Liza Ruba, thanks for the 13 month reset. Uh, <laughs> dinner in between pulls. That is my life. Our, our raid time is starts at seven o'clock um, in the evening. Pacific time should be what 1900 hours in 24 hour time and that is dinner time for me that is usually when we eat dinner I have to really try if I'm gonna have dinner ready and plated and like ready before then <sighs> um, so often I will just try to have dinner ready and plated before then but not eaten before then because I also we don't eat very quickly um, it usually takes me a while to eat that was a speed potion that was not an object um, so I just try to have, have the plate ready and then I just eat like, you know, people are getting summoned, people are handing out Vantus runes maybe, people are talking strategy or just waiting for someone. There's time to eat between raid fights, but not so much between in a mythic plus key. Raid healing, yeah, way more AOE focused. I do very little single target healing in um in raids. I pretty much only single target heal tanks if they're if they really need it, or hunters. Um, so that they don't die. Because everybody else can kind of stay up through the collective AOE heals and the sanctifies and the circle of healing and the halos and whatever. But hunters need just a little... Mark's hunters need a, that little bit of extra help. Uh, pretty new follower. Do you ever have anxiety before queuing Mythic Plus or Arena? And how do you overcome it? Constantly. To the point that a lot of the time I just don't do it. I find... And this is... I've done a better job of this... Oh, sorry, kitty cat. I've done a better job of this for Mythic Plus than I do for Arena. I think that I have worked through a lot of my dungeon anxiety not all of it if you go look at that video of me pugging the 17 for my keystone master i am dying inside in the beginning of it but um i feel better about doing mythic plus when i feel confident that i know what i'm doing if i am thoroughly sure that i know what's about to happen and what my role is and what's expected of me and i know that i'm capable of doing it i feel a lot better so i got over my raid anxiety by researching raids. I got over my mythic plus anxiety by researching the dungeons and by practicing and by working my way up slowly. And I get over my PVP anxiety by drinking <laughs> because there's only so much you can do to prepare for that. <sighs> I'm, I'm kidding. I don't drink um, for that reason. 
often. I, uh, yeah, I, I think that it's, I feel a lot better when I know that I know what I'm doing and I get to that point with research and practice, um, just a little bit, a little bit at a time. <laughs> could hardly tell. <laughs> yeah, uh, thinking about what WoW player housing could like, they could add a carpenter profession, add all the decor items. I would die. It would be so cool to have craftable, um, craftable, uh, decorations and stuff. Guides helped me go through Mythic Plus and Raid Anxiety, coming back all the way since 2018. It was the original motivator behind me even making them in the first place was, um, I... Oh, I guess I could work on this myself. Um, it was the original motivator... Hang on, what, what... I should look up the recipe. Is I... When I first started raiding in Cataclysm, or first started to organize raiding in Cataclysm, because I tried to pug in Raz and it did not go well. Um, I... I was just sweating bullets, so nervous, and I, I watched a lot of raid guides, and they did they did great for me. But I also sometimes wish that they were just a little bit shorter, or a little bit more straight to the point, or a little bit like, just tell me what I need to not embarrass myself in this. So I that was something that I took with me when I started making mine, is to try to condense them to the parts that you, that are specifically going to keep you from, from wiping. Um, okay, so Violet Mistake is... Same amount of blue and red, and then more blues and reds than yellow. Um, so here's a red one, but I wanna, I'm assuming that because the world quest is not up right now, it will be a little easier to get the Violet Mistake to spawn because you're not, you don't have a bunch of people just trying to get their world quest done. So there's a red one, but then I go and I, I get a blue one and I'm gonna help them with this as well. Um, I should go shadow for this if I'm gonna try to do any damage. Would it be too much Sims for WoW? WoW has a lot of, WoW has room for a lot of things. My dream version of player housing has absolutely nothing to do with combat potential so that people that don't want to do it can just skip it and not be any the worse for it. Um, I think that the, that was one of the main things that went wrong with Warlords was how the garrison was massively tied to the economy and to your player power also. So you couldn't really skip the garrison um, and everybody was forced into it, and also, you know, there were there were other factors that went into it, but it did not end up being very popular. Um, my dream version of player housing for WoW is entirely optional, and also not a limited time system. It would be something that is completely optional that we bring with us from expansion to expansion. I don't know that I caught Liza Ruba's 13-month reset. Thank you. Uh, heavy with blues, people like to dump the reds. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get the second one, actually. Also, I should be able to, once I get back from this, you cannot mount with this thing, right? Your speed is limited while you're carrying the goo. I think you have to just run it. <sighs> is your dream housing system in WoW just Valheim? No, dream housing system in WoW is Animal Crossing. Um, Valheim would be too much for WoW. Valheim is very satisfying, and I like it very much, but, but, uh, okay, we do want to make sure that we get some reds. Uh, Valheim is... Can you imagine putting down individual floorboard tiles in WoW? I think it just doesn't fit with the vibe. Um, I, I think it's just not quite right for this game. Uh, I, it would be cool to have, like, a lot of customization, but I'm thinking less Valheim, more Animal Crossing. The new collecting thing, like Transmogger Mounts? Exactly. Uh, you can mount, but you're still slow. Oh, okay. Um... I would want to pick up my floors. Yeah, yeah. Picking up floors, yes. Laying them down one square at a time, maybe less so. Okay, and... Uh, nope. That's not it. That's just a gem. <laughs> However, don't get me wrong. I adore my Valheim house, and I need to progress in Valheim so I can get more stuff than my little room. I can't wait to show you guys. Tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow's variety stream. Tomorrow's Valheim day. I get to show you my new little my new little room. It's kind of like a trailer. It looks a little trailery. I think I need to add some decorative lumber to the outside and maybe do some extra work to make it look a little less like a trailer I've tacked onto the back of it because it's very much a raised rectangle box on on stone stilts. But then when you go inside, it's super comfy and it's got a covered hallway that that connects it to the main building. 
Um, but it's from the outside, and occasionally I accidentally clip through the door and I land in the backyard. Um, it does look a little much. So there's seven and two. I'm getting, I'm going to do a little red. All right, there's a red. We want equal, equal parts. Should I throw a yellow in there? It needs a little yellow, right? Let's see. Uh, no, just 15, 15, 0. You don't need any yellow. Okay, you do not need yellow. You just need equal red and blue. So that's good to know. Okay. Okay, well, I won't farm yellow then. Um, so people were saying 7, 7, 14? No. I'm gonna get another blue boy just in case just in case people really do go in. Is this guy blue? No, that guy's blue. Um Oh he's no they're not all elite. I see. I understand. 15-15, okay. But if you did a couple yellow, you could just do less. As long as you have equal red to blue. But you don't want to go above 15. And I'd be nervous about getting it up to 15 just in case somebody gets carried away and they just think that it just needs more blue. Okay, there's another one. I don't know that I have any any delusions about this. Like, even if we do summon the Violet Mistake, the chances of it actually dropping the mount? I don't know. This is verging into the territory of too much work. <laughs> too much work. It's, for a, it's a pretty cool mount. It's the Hulking Death Rock. So you get one of these guys, but don't I have something like that? I have a predatory plague rock from Geiger. So I have that mount already, just in a different color. So I don't know that this is vitally important to me. I think it would be cool. From this mount while I was leveling, it took about two hours and I got it. Yeah. It's just a question of how, how lucky were you relative to the average, which is hard data to know. Okay, eight. But it looks like they have caught up a little bit in red, so I'm going to keep working on blue. I had a few guildies, spent a few hours trying to summon him, but people kept screwing it up for them. Yeah. Oh, big boy. Yeah, so far, the nearby people seem to be on the right page. I imagine it would be maybe stream farmable, um, because you could put together a stream group of people that understand the, the premise, but it would also be very easy for somebody to make a mistake totally by accident and then undo some progress, and I would hate for people to get, uh, to feel bad. Harder to get folks to agree to some of the pet chants. Oh, true. That might have to be a stream group. Um, what is the pet, what's the pet one require? Out of, out of curiosity. Because I think the mat one's definitely a lot more valued. Can I make it back in time? I think I should be able to grab a second one from that one. If they, if they die close enough, and people will often, if they're smart, they'll drag them closer so that multiple people can pick up a couple while it's still up. Um, you can get a few for the same mob. Ten each, ten, ten, ten. Oh, okay. It's just like an ooze pet, right? Like it's a goo. Okay. There's another blue, so that's gonna be blue number eleven. Maybe I can get twelve. It feels like this is lasting a lot longer than it used to. I wonder if that's been hot fixed. Oily invertebrate. <laughs> Delightful. Oily. Oily invert. Oh, no, that's my achievement window. That's the wrong one. Oh, invertebrate oil. <laughs> Wonderful. Is the ooze holding the bones in, or are the bones holding the ooze together? The eternal question. <laughs> it's got a move called Glop. It's like a, some, yeah, it's basically a dive, but without being necessarily underground, you're just a puddle of unattackable ooze. Okay, so I'm going to remind myself what the number was like. It is currently 12 and 5. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do a little red, 
Just to keep them a little even. Also, it should be about time for another object. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nope, nope. Shall we I got a flying fairy costume. You know what? I got time. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. Where's my perky pug at? Perky, perky pug. Angus. <laughs> Angus, come here. Uh. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. <laughs> oh, does it stack with a pet biscuit? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> worth. I would never buy the pet costumes. Um, I generally don't buy them because I don't know. I'm really cheap, I guess. Um, but if it's just going to drop for me, I'm absolutely using it right away because I don't want to I don't want to look at it in my bags later when I'm trying to free up space. I want to I want to get some mileage out of that thing right now. Oh, that's great though. <laughs> it can also drop pristine containment pack transmog. Oh, the um the thing the the when I say thingy I mean the, the goo the goo activity. It is an honor. Pristine containment pack appearances. Pristine. No. Ah. Oh. Ho ho ho. Not really my style, but lit? Damn, that's cool. You got a jug. <laughs> You're Mountain Dude and ready to go. You need to call yourself Mountain Dude. <laughs> oh dear. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, should be hopefully not crazy hard to farm. I hope these drop rates aren't too ugly. I wish they were guaranteed. <laughs> The gold one drops from Bubble Blood. Where's my Dorito belt? Uh, does NZXD have a Canadian website I can order from? I want the internal USB hub. I do not know. Let me see. Uh, well, NZXD.ca does not do it. <laughs> you don't want it. You don't. You don't want that. Um, let me see. Do they ship? They offer international shipping to Canada, but it's going to be from the same website. Uh, they do not ship to post office boxes. And Canada is the only international company they'll sh uh, international country they'll ship to. Got my Kyrian pug costume as well, which was a helmet. I didn't like it at all. I made him take it off immediately. Oh dear. Okay, so we're three blues off. We're three blue off. Um, I don't know which one they were they were bringing. That looked like a red. I'm gonna go look for another blue. Just, I'm, I'm sure that this person that I'm working with is also working towards the same thing based on what they've been adding so far, but I figure it's not not too rough to, uh, to do blue as well. I don't know what to mog my golden backpack with. Golden backpack? The Bubble Blood Ghostbusters backpack rages. What's the golden backpack though? I'm kind of shocked that we don't have Lucy yet. I feel a, I feel a little tiny bit unlucky. I'm gonna have to, if it doesn't drop on stream, I'm just gonna have to, like, I don't want the thing to expire, right? Like, I need to get it before I have 14 hours left to get this. <laughs> Surely within 14 hours. Oh, the golden one is the containment pack. I just called a golden bag. Oh, is there another one? Because the one I saw was green. Back. Unless I'm actually blind. Oh, there's two of them. There's a grungy containment pack, and then there's the pristine containment pack. This one's marked as a quest, and this one's marked as a world drop. They all have green liquid? I see. Those are cool. Gotcha. All right, 13 and nine. <laughs> All this work just to summon something that has a chance, a chance of dropping a, of dropping a mount. 
Not even a good- well, actually, I don't know that it's not a good chance. It could be a good chance. Have you ever tried to make a pure movement speed set? Trying to build one in an alt now. No, I've heard good things. I've heard about people that used to make them for transmog hunting, and I've seen some crazy stuff where people would have speed transmog sets. They would use them to farm old raids, and they would just zip right through them. They would just zoom, um, which was really cool. Okay, so that's another red. I'm gonna go get another blue. We're so close, which makes it so easy for it to get just like offset a little bit, which I imagine is probably where people start to rage in this, is if you spent like half an hour getting, um, not that I spent half an hour here, but if you spent ages trying to solo or duo up to 15 to, um, to get to summon the right one, and then somebody just plonks like one red too many in. Which I imagine is why we're we're kind of going and fit we're keeping it fairly even as we go so that it's harder to ruin if somebody was just walking by. Okay, so there should be a glinting object here as well. Right there. Uh nope, some beast battle training stones, that's something. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard I heard that about the Legion legendary nerf being uh being <sighs> down uh do you have a p.o box i have a p.o box but i don't go there anymore um please do not send anything there it's just so that i can track return mail uh lucky luckily the world quest for this isn't up, isn't up. yeah i always would have thought that i i think i had the mistaken assumption okay so only red now only red i was under the mistaken assumption that it um would be easier because you'd be summoning so much more of these they would be coming so much quicker with the world quest up that you would get more chances, but it is not, it is not easy to, um, it is not easy to summon the correct one when, um, when there's people just trying to get the world quest up. There's 13, 14. That better not be a blue. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm gonna go get the last red. Oh, we're so close. I think they know. Thank goodness. I could have said something, as opposed to just yelling at my screen, but that doesn't sound like me. Talking to other people? Mm, don't know about that. Red. Oh, look at that. Violent mistake. Make sure warlock's here, warlock's here, good. believe that worked. I think that's about as easy as it's ever going to be. It's just having like one or two other people around that are just coincidentally on the same page. Or you put together a raid group intentionally on like an RP server or something like that, where you're less likely to get um, passers-by that are not with the picture. Alright, good luck. I did not. I like to watch people to see if they get that like yellow, like the, mm, the thing that happens when um, when people learn a mount just to see if they got lucky. Can you, you can just, is that a daily loot or can you just keep going? Game sounds a little high. Sorry, yeah. I had it turned up, I think, yesterday when we were looking at stream buds. Keep going? So you can just keep looting it? Daily loot? Because I know you could keep summoning it. Once per day per character. Oh, okay. Well then, I, I'm just gonna stick with this character because I have the I have the the Lucy thing. And I'd rather just see here and keep farming it. Summon each rare once per day. Yeah, I don't know if I could talk the the team into um, working on like the the transmog or the um, the pet ones. <laughs> and I would hate to be fighting against somebody that wants to summon violent mistake. So I'd rather just not. So nervous to put the wrong color in. Uh, feel bad for people having to farm this. I got the second day of Shadowlands release. <sighs> Pardon me. All right, one one more minute. I am getting just stalked right up on pet stones and these portals, at least. It's something. Also, pomegranates. Can't argue with the pomegranates. I mean, you can, but... 
Uh, what else do I have? I have some vendor stuff. A shady message. Grants a mission to unlock a pet vendor. Oh, that's for that's for uh, BFA. That's to unlock the BFA pet vendor. Get out of here with that. Well, oh, I have another flying. F oh no, the fairy costume has five charges. Oh, I didn't know it had charges. I thought it was consumed on use. That's neat. I think I could sell some some extra stuff while I wait. I was the warlock helping it. I uh, I did not see you get the mount. I was hoping that one of us would get lucky. Uh, we had. Arrowhokey with a two month reset a couple minutes ago. Hazel, good luck with the collectible farms. Thank you. And then Epioni with a seven month reset. Thank you. I'm so exhausted. I pugged all eight 15s today. 16 hours in total. Finally, I can sit back and relax, farm Valor, and eat dinner. You're still farming Valor after all that? How are you, by the way? Goodness, that is a champion move. Yeah, tyrannical and bolstering. Good grief. I'm scared to do my one key of the week. I'm doing pretty good. I am hoping to get lucky with, um, I'm hoping to get lucky with a pile of, oh, I just, <laughs> I did not mean to disperse. Sometimes it just happens. Whoops. Yeah, I'm hoping to get lucky with one of these. Eh, nope. Pocket portal revendreth. I mean, may, I guess I never have to take another flight path. <laughs> or not never. Um, pocket portal. Yeah, I got three for Ardenweald, three for Maldraxxus, three for Ouroboros, nine for Bastion, and then nine for Revendreth. Although, I don't know that I'll use the Bastion one so much because I already have a, uh, my Hearthstone set there. Yeah, the wing, the wing, the flying wing pug is actually fantastic. I'm so glad that that dropped. I will, uh, one second, I'm going to let the cat stream for just a minute and I'm going to take a little late, little bit of a late midstream break. Kitty cat, there you go. Okay, one sec. I will be uh, right back. There we go. Kitty cat, you're up. <laughs> Little uh, dental treat for him. We've taught him high five, and by taught him high five, I mean we've repurposed hand uh, shake <laughs> and found that if you hold your hand up high enough, it will also work for high five. Oh man, uh, is it a toy making the pug fly? It's a perky pug costume. Um, there's a uh, there's various there's lots of different perky pug costumes. But this is the flying fairy one. I happened to get one from doing the, from looting the dirty glinting object that the train or the calling trainee drops. But you can also get them from pet vendors. Cat wants to stream. Were you having a good stream, Cat? How did you do? How did you do? What did you talk about? <laughs> I need advice. I don't have any good stories right now. <laughs> I'm very boring. I made a new mouth guard. I realized that I, back when I had gotten my first one, it was a three pack of them and that it was time to move on to a new one. And it came with two sizes and last time I'd used the larger size and this time I decided to try to see if I can get it with the smaller size and it turns out that I can and that it's much more comfortable and I probably should have been using that one all along. Um, so that's lit. <laughs> oh man, uh, grind your teeth during sleep? Yeah, I've been wearing a mouth guard for years now to try to help with it. Um, but I had worn my last one down enough to the point that it was still kind of rough. Also during waking hours? No, I don't let myself. I don't let myself. I look like a I look like a distressed goldfish half the day because I make myself open my mouth and like close it and, and relax and try to be aware of my jaw because I cannot afford to clench my teeth. It's so bad for them and they have problems already. <sighs> yeah. Um. Kitty cat. Oh, I never showed you, um, oh, hang on, it's time for another, it's time for another, another glinting object, I think. It doesn't feel like five minutes has passed, but maybe it did. Also, my, uh, my gamepad's sticking a little bit. Oh, no, I remember my other story. It wasn't a very good one. I have bad stories today. I, 
<laughs> was trimming my bangs because they felt a little bit long and I was wondering if that would make me feel better. And usually when I trim my bangs, I hold them out and I take a look at them and I make sure they're straight and I make sure I've got the right bits of them. And then I have some hair cutting scissors and I can just kind of snip away at them. But depending on the angle, occasionally um, the hair that gets snipped off at the end of my bangs will kind of go towards my face. And I manage to snip off a big chunk of it right into my eye. Um, and then I had to dig it out with a Q-tip and I was sad. I got a Midnight Star Pepper, which I have never heard of before. Uh, what covenant abilities do you unlock first? Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get your main your class and your main covenant ability pretty much right when you join up, um, very very early. They're not locked behind a whole lot of progression. When you're first leveling your first character through Shadowlands, you need to get through the initial storyline. Are stories anecdotes or are anecdote stories? Uh, same thing. I think it's I think it, I think it's the same thing. I, the other one, I was going to show you, um, I never did show you guys what I did with my nails this week, and I have at least two good ones. Most of them look kind of eh, um, or actively eh, but there's two of them that turned out kind of cute. I did, um, also my dog. <laughs> I did, uh, let me see if I can get a focus on this. Hang on. So we turn it this way. There you go. So kind of like a half naked nail, half pink background, and then I painted some lilies. I did not hand paint those, but I did nail stamping and I colored in behind it. And then there's like a butterfly on that side and then for the other hand there's a hydrangea if it'll focus yeah hydrangea over there and then this one is a little deer <laughs> i put a little baby deer on there because i was out of flowers that i liked and i didn't want another butterfly and i said why not a baby deer and it's a very shiny baby deer because i don't really have like the kind of tan orangey color that you might assume a deer might be but i had gold so it's a golden baby deer <sighs> can't argue with a baby deer yeah it's cute enough i mostly just like the lilies <sighs> i um canceled the re-up on my on my stamping plate subscription they're they're wonderful but i have decided i have a sufficient amount and that I do not need additional stamping plates. I have enough. I have a lot. I do not need more. More is not the thing that is missing from my life. So I'm going to use the ones that I have. Uh, have you seen or listened to the item called Squeaky Bat? No. Wish BFA went more piratey than it did. There was a fair high, fairly high amount of pirate-ish stuff going on in Alliance anyways. With island expeditions and with um, with Boralus is <laughs> somewhat somewhat piratey. There was like a whole pirate bay <laughs> with the pirate with the pirate uh, the pirate dungeon. You had freehold. I guess there could have been more of it. Like a raid would have been would have been sweet on a pirate dragon map. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. <sighs> Go in the auction house and get it. No, that's cheating. I mean, it's not cheating, but it does feel like giving up. And I have a sufficient amount of failure in my life as it is. 25,000 gold. No, thank you. It's going to drop for me. It will drop for me eventually. We never got a full pirate transmog set. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. But, like, my Coltier and Shaman looks pretty piratey. Like, the Coltier and Heritage Armor combined with some of the Najatar barnacles and then with the pirate hat. I don't think I, I put her in that hat, actually, but, you know, you get those those pirate hats from the Island Expedition vendor. Uh, Rarity is not tracking Lucy attempts now. Benthic kind of piratey. Benthic was very barnacly. It was kind of like sunken pirate. It was sort of like a pirate, but he fell off his ship a while ago and he's been dead for a few weeks and his clothing is a little gunky now. Uh, and Taurus Rogue here looks kind of piratey. <sighs> Bless you. It's a very warm sunny day, which means that she just wants to nap. Also, it means that um, the, the bird seed that I put out stays dry a little longer, which makes me confident to put out larger quantities of it, which is necessary because lately the birds have been crushing the bird seed I put out. They empty that feeder about every second day and the hummingbirds can go through an entire hummingbird feeder every single day. It's like any time you look out there, you're gonna see like three to 10 birds, it's, it's wild. If somebody was afraid of birds, they would very much not like to visit my home because there's a lot of bird activity going on. Uh, someone new to WoW, but I'm enjoying it so much. 
it's early spring they hungry they eat and they ever at my house everybody eats they are they are getting their food i guess i could work on this if nobody's doing it no people are working on it i don't i don't want to ruin it for them i don't i don't know what they're trying to summon i'm just gonna gonna stand by <laughs> help them kill it makes me realize how short of a time five minutes actually is I used to think when I was a little kid that five minutes was forever because, you know, your parents are like, oh, we're going to leave in five minutes. And I think part of it was that when you're a kid and you have nothing to do but sit and wait for five minutes, it does feel like a long time. Whereas now that we're an adult, we have like smartphones or whatever. But then also sometimes people, parents would say five minutes and they didn't really mean five minutes. <laughs> it sounds like it should be a short amount of time. And then it was stretched out really long. But now... Um, goes by like nothing, yeah. I, I think about time sometimes. If I'm thinking about small increments of time, I parse it out in my head in terms of WoW cooldowns. So two minutes is Power Infusion, three minutes is Boon of the Ascended, 12 minutes is a Holy Word Selva if you don't reduce its cooldown. Um, so I try and uh, try, to, try to figure out how many I can get in anyways. Also, compared to your lifespan, it's a bigger chunk than it is now. Oh, man. Waiting a year for Christmas when you're a little kid took, for me anyways, felt like the longest thing ever. Like, I remember driving home from my Nana's house um, on Christmas after everything was over and being so sad that Christmas was over. And then being like, man, I have to wait a whole year for Christmas. And now years just zip right by very quickly. And I understand that they're not about to slow down. Um, which is a little concerning, but, you know, you do your best. <laughs> Entirely immune to boredom. I always have something to do or think about. Not sure how healthy that is, but hey. I am trying to do better at sitting with my boredom and being bored without getting un unnerved about it or without doing things that are going to tank my mood, like wasting time online. I find that there's a very much a vicious cycle um, with me for procrastination using digital media to distract myself, where... You, you feel bad for whatever reason, you know, you read it, you, you, you're stressed about something and there's always something. And then the, the instinct, the habit is to try to self-soothe by distracting yourself or myself with um, news media or with social media or with whatever it is that's so compelling to read that it gets you out of your head. But then the content of those things stresses me out. And then the fact that I'm procrastinating will further stress me out. So you surface and then you feel awful about A, the things you read and B, the fact that you weren't working. And then you feel worse. And then the self-soothing habit is to go back to it. And then you end up spiraling like that. And it's a habit that I've been trying to break for a long time that I, 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 I go through phases. Sometimes they're worse than others. <laughs> I'm doing good today. Oh man, uh, Lucy the ghost cat, got her, forgot from where, is she rare? Depends on who you ask. Um, lots of people have been telling me about how easy it is, and I'm not at all bitter about that given that I've been trying for, for a day and a half now. Not a day and a half, for like three hours, I guess. Three and a half hours. Never found news relaxing or soothing? It's not relaxing or soothing, but what it is is compelling. It feels relevant, it feels immediate, and it feels like I should know. Um, and I find myself, I find my fingers taking me to news sites um, in the absence of other, like, in, in, in whenever I'm trying to get out of my head. And it's a terrible, it's a terrible habit. It's not good for me. Um, I've gone back and set up some site blocks again. I go through phases of blocking and unblocking sites and time limiting things and untime limiting them. And then another trick I like to do is using uBlock, you can disable certain elements of pages. So um, an example is that I need to have Twitter unblocked on my desktop because I occasionally need to tweet or access my Twitter DMs for work. But um, the Twitter feed and even worse, the trends and explore page are poison for me that I cannot avoid. Um, and like seeing them is enough to suck me into them and just chew me up and spit me out six hours later feeling awful. So I, using uBlock, you can right click on any element on a web page and disable it. And you just, I just did that to enough of them to the point that my Twitter feed right now is gutted to the point that I can still get to my messages and I can still tweet. Um, and I can see the Twitter feed, but I can't see any text. I can see people's profile pictures and I can see the photos they posted, but I can't see any text and I can't see who posted it. Um, and then my, my explore page is similarly gutted. So that was, I, was, I was working on that today. So just to make it less compelling to stay there when you don't have anything to do or when you don't have anything that you feel like doing, right? Uh, do you ever play D&D? Not for many years. Forgot to thank you for making pet guides on YouTube. Thank you. Thanks for watching them. I have two Lucy's now. 
I want to learn how to play the guitar, but the failing makes me feel down, so I play games to distract me from the fact that I suck at learning new things. Learning new things is difficult, and it is stressful, and it is frustrating, and it is hard to persevere through that if you don't if you don't have the habit of trying with being a little detached from whether or not you succeed. I, I sympathize a lot. There's a couple of skills that I would very, that my life would be a lot easier if I was better at. And I have all the materials and the resources I need to put in some time and improve on them. And I can't say I don't have time. It's just that I never feel like I have, I never feel emotionally strong enough to put myself through that on purpose when I know it's gonna suck. Browsing Twitter is low key self harm for me. I avoid it completely. Cannot remember how I got Lucy. You looted a dirty glinting object that spawned when your trainee and following your what your covenant trainee, you a specific one, was with you doing a certain calling. Oh, my timer's up. <laughs> I do think that I'm probably not being as efficient um, as I could be about doing this every five minutes. I think I'm probably stretching it out a little far because I keep forgetting when my when my timer's up. Maybe I'm gonna use the wow timer as well. Unless this is just it. Uh, nope, that was a flawless dragonkin battlestone. That won't do me any good. Um, I don't remember where the timer is. Uh, nope, that's just zoom in. There it is. Stopwatch. Sure. <laughs> you ever feel like you never have enough uninterrupted time to do something? No, I don't have that particular issue. I have I have um, nothing but unstructured time. I have my difficulties lie in attempting to structure my time and abide by my own self-imposed structure when I have no oversight or accountability from anybody. I think she was the very first one that popped up. Drippy's good luck. Drippy's required. Um, if Drippy is not your combat follower, it will not show up. Uh, this dirty, shiny thing that you're doing is trying to get a battle pet. We're trying to get the Lucy Ghost Battle Pet Cat. This one. Yeah, another chance. Three minutes and 42 seconds. I should notice just whenever, um, I should notice whenever the pink text disappears that I'm ready for another chance. But uh, I don't know if it's that easy for me. Yeah, so every five minutes, when you have the correct follower out, every five minutes, um, the first mob that you kill will spawn that pile of rubble, and the rubble has a chance to drop the pet. Superman's got you with all, with all the info there. Can you get the slime cat? Not this way. Um, there is a slime cat you can get as a pet. I believe you must be... What is it? Jelly cat? I don't know. You have to be Necrolord for the one that I'm thinking of. There may be more that I'm not aware of, but the one I'm thinking of is the Necrolord equivalent of Ruffle, which needs you to be a Necrolord. It requires a certain amount, um, not this one, but the Slime Cat. You need to be Necrolord. You need a certain amount of renown. You need 30 Grateful Offerings, and you need some Anima as well. Jiggles. Thank you. Jiggles. Yeah, I don't have Jiggles yet. I have a Necrolord. I'm just missing. I have not been doing the dailies for the Grateful Offerings, and I think I'm missing the Anima as well. Try adding a sound effect when the weak word disappears? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, if I can figure it out. I am not a weak aura whiz. I am not great with these. Uh, saving a phantom for jiggles. I don't even pet battle. It's just cute. Super, super cute. Yes, I'm attempting to add a condition. I don't know which one of these is involved. It was pretty easy when it was my flash concentration week aura because that was a very specific buff that had a duration. But I don't really know what the deal is with this because it's an internal cooldown. Dog left. <laughs> 
trigger one active. Okay. If trigger one is active, then good. Active true. Okay. So I think it's just about to come up, but I probably, because I messed with that one. Um, this is four minutes, but it took me a little bit to get going. I don't think it'll go this, this time, but I think maybe next time. My friend always has Jiggles tease me because I'm not Necrolord and he knows how much I love Jiggles. Does Jiggles have any extra special, like, animations or um, tricks or anything the same way that Ruffle does? And I know um, the tree, the Necro, or the Night Fae tree pet also has some special stuff. Uh, most of how you use weak words is just trying until something works. Um, oh yeah. There we go. So I think it's this one's ready quite soon. Okay, so that was when it spawned. I don't know, because what I want is for the sound to play when the internal cooldown finishes, right? Like, I know when the, the, the object is up, that's fine. I need an alert to remind me when it's available again. Oh, maybe that did, maybe it did do that. Maybe that was what that was. I guess we just gotta wait five minutes and find out. <laughs> I do think that the, uh, the bleat is the correct sound. <laughs> uh, you get a laser toy, to a toy laser pointer. He rubs up against you and slimes you. He hunts slimes and drops them at your feet. Goodness, I need that. I need that. Wendy, I'm done. Thanks for the 17 month reset. Thanks, Wendy. Hope you've been doing good. Oh, boy. It is such nice weather out. It is so sunny. <laughs> it's so sunny. Look. <laughs> I kind of want to leave. I wasn't watching my monitor when the goat sheep sound went off. I was not expecting that. I think there's a specific trigger for a cooldown being done. Very bright indeed. Yeah, I kind of want to get outside after this. I have more editing I should do, but if I'm not going to do it anyways, then I may as well go for another walk, right? Like, <laughs> might, be, might, might be better for me. I'm trying to, uh, to expand my repertoire of, like, neutral activities where, like, if you're not going to do the productive thing, you know, if you, if you think about things that you could do with your unstructured time, you have productive things, you have destructive things and in the middle you have a range of things that aren't necessarily getting you towards your goals but at least you're not actively pushing yourself away from them so in the middle category i would put things like cleaning on the upper side of neutral i would put things like playing games like you know just binging valheim on the lower side of neutral i think playing valheim is not as bad for me as binging like twitter or reddit would be but it's also probably not you know as good for me as like exercise i would say like extra exercise probably in the middle there um, if we consider properly productive to be, like, editing, you know. Um, <laughs> feels like summer today. I live in Boston. It was 71 and sunny. Amazingly refreshing to be out in nice weather. Yeah, the trouble is admitting to yourself when you're not going to be productive and then making the choice to swerve yourself into neutral as opposed to just staying in denial until you end up doing the destructive thing. Uh, when is next hair and tattoo appointment? I do tattoo this month and then hair, I think, is early April. Um, I've got tattoo in a couple of weeks. It's, what is it today? It's the 11th? Next week, actually. I got tattoo next week. And, um, we're probably going to be filling in, I imagine next week we're going to be filling in the line work we started. So I'm probably going to be getting this all filled in, um, these, and then these leaves down here. But I sent my artist an email today that I'm excited about because I've been kind of putting it off. Um, I, he wanted to know what I wanted. I guess I should keep this up. Uh, he wanted to know what I wanted to, if I had ideas for how to fill in like this space. Cause for the sleeve, we've got a pretty large, pretty big open space in the back of my forearm. And we've brainstormed some extra plants. He wants to do some Pacific ferns. He wants to do some cattails. Um, Cause it's kind of like a Pacific Northwest wetland adjacent theme. But then um, there's just that big chunk of open space. And uh, we kept trying for ideas. And then I really hope that he likes my idea because I really want to add in a heron like a great blue heron or at least part of one i don't know if if it'll work and i am flexible to do things that the, my artist thinks will fit 
and flow and work well together. So if he doesn't like it, then I won't do it. But I really hope he likes it because that would be so cool. I've always wanted a heron tattoo. I kind of thought I would get one somewhere else. But if I could fit it into my sleeve, that would be sweet. That would be sick. I don't want any WoW tattoos. Um, Friday again? Because Valheim, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, it is another Friday. Um, is that the baby steward pet? How do you get him? So this particular baby steward, this is Ruffle. And Ruffle is the Kyrian equivalent of Jiggles. So he is from Grateful Offerings, Anima, and a certain amount of Covenant Renown. You buy him from a vendor. Uh, Ruffle is great because of some emotes. So let's see. If I sit with Ruffle, so I'm targeting Ruffle, and slash, slash sit, uh, Ruffle will have a seat with you. Um, you can also talk to Ruffle. Here, I think I might need to get him to stand up. Uh, come along. Come on, bud. <laughs> uh, you can talk to Ruffle. Slash talk. And Ruffle will talk back to you. And then if you're a monster and you roar at Ruffle, he's going to be very, very afraid. He's going to be real concerned about that. There is other recolors. Also, let's see if it bleeds. Nope. I need to fix that weak core. That's not right. Um, it should have gone off right there. <sighs> I knew it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the wrong place for the bleeding. <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. That's also not Lucy. Darn it. Um, there's also the Lost Featherling is another one that actually dropped for me somewhat recently. This one has a chance to drop from the Forsworn mobs in the northwestern corner of Bastion. So the Forsworn mobs out here that you fight when you're doing like that elite world quest they have a chance to drop this one which is the darker color colored version of it um and that one does the same animations it looks like um it didn't sit but maybe it was still talking yeah it'll do the same animations as ruffle um so that's the lost featherling and if there's more recolors then i'm not sure <laughs> you can't just roar at ruffle um slash weak aura go to condition okay trigger Remaining cooldown. Remaining duration? No. Trigger one. Condition if trigger one. Remaining cooldown. Duration. Okay. Remaining duration equals one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll try that. Um, I've broken it again <laughs> because I, I I opened the options. Every time I open the weaker options, it resets the timer um, or it, it deletes the timer. So I'm just going to give it another three minutes or so with just a stopwatch and then try again. The Steward Featherling. I knew there was another one. Steward Featherling. So that's a silver one from Zealous Coast, Covenant Kyrian Zone Bastion. That must be a, a Path of Ascension one, the silver one. Uh, wish me luck on Sire tonight. Over a hundred wipes so far, but start raid in seven minutes. Good luck. Uh, he is, yes. He's also he's also cute. I'm just happy the Featherling dropped for me. I, I'd seen other people running around with it, and I was getting kind of jealous. I didn't exclusively also <laughs> this text. You want to talk things over with the Lost Featherling. <laughs> um, has that changed? That's I, I targeted and, and used slash talk, and I feel like that emote text used to be something else. You want to talk things over with. I feel like it didn't always say that. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, no, no Lucy yet. We're we're tweaking the weak aura to try to improve the efficiency of my farming process. <sighs> I like the Night Fae special pet, the little tree tree dude. Um, remind me, Leafador. No, well, it is a reskin of Leafador. What am I thinking of? It's one of these, but it's called something different. Tootie. Tootie? No, that's Toddle. Maybe, maybe it won't show up because I'm not currently Night Fae, but these are precious. These are so cute. These are so good. Trudy. That sounds true. Yeah, maybe just because I'm not in Night Fae. You like her? Yeah! I've heard some Trudy hate, and I'm not here for it. <laughs> I'm jealous. I don't have one yet. True dude. 
My cat's purring. She's facing the wrong way, though. I probably can't get it on camera. Uh, are the settings being changed for the right branch? Yeah, maybe not. Um, it is a group, so it's possible. I put it at the I put it at the top thing, but it does appear that 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 setting has carried on down the down the train. <laughs> so should should be fine. Should work. Uh 1307 pets. You are a collector. 383 is a lot of pets. They've just added a lot of pets to this game. I am um and there's like I've I think I've reached my limit. Not that I couldn't get more pets. I'm trying to get more pets right now, but there's a lot of them that I think covenants have kind of killed me for collecting. I think that the 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 concept of trying to get to farm on four characters and then not even being able to use all the pets and all the characters is um is a little much. All right, I'm just going to kill mobs every now and then because I don't remember how long I waited before I broke my thing. And it could be soon. So I'm just gonna do this every now and then. Yeah, there's a new one. Okay. So it didn't bleed this time, which is good. That was elemental battle training stones. <laughs> so not not the one. Oh! It did there, though. Well, but, hmm. We'll just, we'll just give it a minute. If it, if five minutes goes by and it makes the goat sound again, then everything is good. You have the whole expansion, though? Yeah! I guess so. It's just, uh, as soon as, the sooner I let go, let me look at the pets I don't have and then figure out which ones I actually really don't want to bother with. Because is it not going to require doing, do I have to do every Covenant's Covenant activity? I know that I, if I want all the mounts, than I do because there's some mounts, there's four mounts that are shared between the different covenants, covenant activities, but there are some that are exclusive to each covenant. But if we're just talking pets, I know they won't all show up in the journal, but if I wanted all the pets, because I don't think I want to use, I don't think I want to grind Ember Court and Conservatory and Stitch Crafting and Path of Ascension, it's just too much. Uh, Vi Vijwiki with a brand new sub. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. It's better than Meow or the Goat. It's good that there's options because you don't want to use the same one for everything or else you're going to start tuning out the Meow. Uh, the Meow, I think, is a little bit more piercing, which helps it get through to me when I'm in the middle of a key. I never let myself fully give up on any WoW goal because it means I still have so much to do potentially one day. I suppose so. Isn't it just so... <laughs> This is the inspirational content you come to my stream for. Isn't there something liberating about giving up, though? You know, when you when you let go of your desire for a thing and you just accept, I'm not going to get that, and that's okay. Isn't that kind of freeing? Is it freeing or is it depressing? <laughs> Up for debate. Ember Court's got two. Mirror Network's got one. Oh, I don't know, man. I guess I'm just going to keep working on pets that I can get on my main and then feel out how direly I want the rest of them. Cause like I have, I have, well, I have enough, you know? <laughs> the meow is better comically timed because it comes in high stress situations. Free, giving up is amazing, yeah. And I don't, I'm, I'm on the giving up is liberating train. I don't think that it means you should give up on everything. I think giving up on everything is depressing, but for people like me that tend to get too attached to too many different goals and then feel torn between them and then tear yourself up about not reaching any of them because you wanted way too many things, uh, learning how to let go of things is nice. Learning how to let go of goals that are not central to your character are nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I remember when my friend gave up on Scarab Lord in Classic and my first reaction was, oh, thank God. Good at giving up temporarily. It's like how nothing's better than canceled plans. Yeah. 
Um, WoW has an issue of adding too many things, like pets and mounts that aren't unique enough. Collecting has lost its meaning. I, I definitely think there's a lot of stuff to collect, and I think that the quantity has kind of burned me out a little bit, but it's like complaining about having too much content to do. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just not, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know that it's their fault for adding too many pets. Maybe it would be more exciting if there weren't recolors, like if each model was available from just one thing. I don't know. Uh, central, yeah, I was thinking central to my real life character. Like, I don't want to give up on goals that, je like, directly support my values, you know, but, um, things that are not that important to me as a person. It's, it's useful to, to learn when to recognize which, which things you can let go of so that you can keep your energy and your stress for the stuff that really, really matters. Because there's only so many things that you can get away with having matter. Or at least there's only so many things I can get away with having matter. <laughs> Some people can do a lot of different things. I see a list of three things and I feel tired already. <sighs> um, so excited about the hand mount. It'd be cool if there was two people with my mount near each other. The mount special had them play rock, paper, scissors. They don't feel unique anymore and I don't know where half of them come from. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that same way. But I'm sure there are collectors that are caught up that are thrilled to have so many different things to do in Shadowlands to like actually collect all this stuff. And more people like what Lux is saying where they're not caught up yet but they like knowing that it's there for them eventually so that, there we go, that worked. So that next time, um, the next time there's a content drought and you need something to do, it's just waiting for you there um, to work on. Well, darn. That's two Lucy farming streams come and gone with no, excuse me, it's, it's bleeding twice. Two Lucy streams come and gone with not a Lucy in sight, and today was the last day for it. Ugh. I wanna go outside. I mean, it's not the last day ever for it. You could wait until the, the the calling comes back. Eventually there will be another training calling that has the correct trainee. Unlucky. Yeah. I was hoping for more collection meta chiefs. Yes, you let us down. Yeah, I may continue to work on this off stream later tonight. That's so frustrating. I just wanted to cut together a highlight to put it on the YouTube so that the people that don't know know for next time. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I'll work on this off stream later. Hmm. What is on Disappointed. Is that not an emote? There we go, yeah. <laughs> We're disappointed in him. <laughs> you could sell your ambition for only 25k. Be a fantastic punchline. Yeah. I don't know about that. I'm saving up my gold so they can bury me with it when I die. I am going to leave my character right here, but I am going to wrap up my stream for today, and I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Variety Friday, and that means Valheim time. Um, I can show you when tomorrow on my Valheim stream my, my new bedroom. It's delightful. I'm very excited, and I can't wait for you to see it. Thank you all so much for joining me today and for keeping me company and for all the support. You guys are the best. I will see you tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.